that uh, we have oh, the here fantasy we go. for an armored Viking, but mm -hmm. another aspect that we really Get in wanted this tab, to nail was showing off uh, the, armors. The, uh, the customization aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to give... So, the Varangan Guard, it's a... It's showing a unit. off the armors, folks. You Pay are attention. issued with standard equipment, um, but you also... Uh, that one looks you want good. to bring in some the element of individuality one. into the Guard, or coming from different places. And we wanted the player to be able to have this choice be able to go with the cape I without like cape one. different types of helmets uh, you will see that there is a set that has a face reveal there are other sets what? that have so uh, face a, reveal? Con a conic uh, head uh, conic helmet with an aventail which is a way to protect your uh, your face uh, some others are just me or is she getting masks. taller and taller uh, you can see it here it's inspired from uh, neighboring culture the uh, uh, sicilian uh, norman from italy that the varangian guard would have fought um, so yeah, you have multiple options. Uh, in the armor, you also have different types of chain mails. You have different types of scale mails. Uh, you can go with other types of armor too. Uh, you can see the, the, the many, many types of uh, customization that are available and that we wanted to offer as an option. But they also seem to really like the pointy helmets. <laughs> I didn't think is about there, this, but I have For Honor still running. For the yeah, uh, yeah. Is this like? Uh, I, I, does this look me to good? Say by the way, is this a little bit pretty good? I kind of want to know where's no, the no, it's still yeah. in the background. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Oh, darn, well, darn. maybe they did, but that's not uh, <laughs> what my sources tell me. Uh, basically, when well, you know, the helmet it's to protect your skull. Uh, everyone as is tradition, I'm aware. So basically, if it is like that, it deflects. Uh, uh, like you might notice a small bit of stuttering here. That's not on my end. That's really just the way they, they got the video queer playing. Kind of, uh, of helmet. There are other types of helmets, but in their case, that one's we interesting. This one. We also have a helmet like a scale, this man. one, which is a late ridge, ro a late Roman ridge helmet, mini jewels. This is us uh, taking the liberty of going up and down the thousand of years. Was it during of, uh, this reveal only or earlier? In history that preceded the uh, Guard. Wow. Uh, we mentioned. Oh, there is this in the middle, a bit of a face yeah. reveal. Uh, there so are uh, also options face. that we have with uh, uh, material, uh, with the uh, uh, okay. color sets. Um, as you can see, the the the, the I like this. The they need to do more of this, showing off the color sets. You can apply the uh, materials. Uh, the material changes to it, uh, and we try to maximize it so that you, well, you can do as much as you can and change and express yourself as much as you ca as you want uh, with the material, but also with the uh, color sets. Uh, and you can go with, uh, well, as many colors as we have and as many colors as you want. All right. Uh, is there a particular color you think you'll be playing with? I mean, they got a purple ponytail right now, so I think <laughs> I might just go with uh, that. The so dark yeah. purple is uh, really historical yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, I would go with this one, but pink is also something what? I like, but not historical, but really <laughs> I like it. So hey, It's expression though, that. so yes. yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Uh, there were called in sources Aspidi Foroi, uh, so uh, shield bear bearer, and uh, Peleki Foroi, so uh, weapon uh, reveal. Axe bearer. Change your so tabs. We to come go back. Look at this. Um, but when we we design weapons, we go like on a scale from realistic to mythological. Um, we start with weapons who are more. Uh, you know what they, they are used they, exactly what they're used oh, to. Oh, I like that uh, one. It's like so all squared off. Some metal, but not too much. That's cool. Uh, then we clean it up. Uh, we add some metals, some ornaments, some different ways to express yourself. Um, the 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 weapons for a mercenary they are the tools of the work. Uh, so I could believe that as a mercenary you would want to ah. show off. Kind of like this one, uh, simple and nice. To gold show trim. that you survived. Uh, to uh, use your weapons as a uh, we memento go. for fallen uh, companions or brothers or whoever. I love that gem. And so more like nice and more detail. you can add elements. You can add some more weapon, uh, some more metal. Oh, that was uh, Some wicked. more precious metal. A little red. Uh, you can go into a more fantastic This one, I think, is based to, on what is it, the current uh, or previous? different things um, that are inspired Battle gold, Pass. So the double nature comes back here, too. Or uh, then. So both from the, uh, the, the, the Viking mythology and from the Roman and Byzantine history, also okay. mythology. Yeah, these symbols. are based on previous. Uh, and uh, more and more, when you go into like uh, events the, and you themes, you go up the scale uh, uh, into the mythological. You would have more gold. You would have more tessellated glass, which is something really, really important uh, in uh, Byzantine art. Uh, you would have a lot of symbols.
not a fan of all the extra like yeah. as you can see uh, that's like whole, i can uh, like appreciate I'm, some of the like yeah, and i think there was the like stuff. one for me there's way too really much like extra yes, like okay i don't like the uh, like the last blue one. green red uh, the dragon yes. so of course dragons they're staple of uh, uh viking mythology but uh they were really this really important wicked, in the roman and then byzantine armies and so for Engengard too uh the 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 oh, they yeah. had a, yeah, 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 a yeah. sigil that was called a, a draco I like this uh, and it was pretty much like a, a dragon shaped oh. Uh, oh. sigil that you would oh. go into battle oh. with uh, i'm using for that axe thousand years the romans then that the axe though that one use that and we Probably know that, one. Uh, that the Varangian guards were the and last to do it in history. Wow. So this is the shield and the axe I was talking about. Little so snake. If, whether you want to be more realistic or you want to be more mythological, we have you covered. <laughs> and you want to feel like a thousand-year-old woman fighting as a Viking uh, Varangian guard? Well, we have you covered too. <laughs> we, we offer all sorts, so that's amazing. <laughs> we try. We try.